Hello everyone, Dr. Sunil Dand. Welcome to another video. Many of you have already seen the very sad news about the American actress Kirsty Alley, who passed away after a short battle with colon cancer. Most people didn't even know that she was unwell. After her death, many mainstream media outlets talked about her life, her achievements. She was well known across the United States and indeed many parts of the world. Many people have seen her TV shows and her movies. It was very sad indeed. She was 71 years old. Lots of mainstream media outlets also talked about colon cancer and risk factors for colon cancer. And I want to share with you one particular outlet from one of our favorite mainstream media news outlets, news outlets, CNN. Take a look at this. Kirstie Alley died of colon cancer. Here's how to lower your risk in CNN Health. They talk about Kirstie Alley's achievements and the fact she was 71 years old. Colorectal cancer, which includes colon and rectal cancers, is the second most common cause of death from cancer in 2022, outranked only by lung and bronchus cancer. Then they talk about how regular checkups are the best way to keep colon cancer at bay, according to the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force. The task force lowered the age to begin screening for colon and rectal cancer to 45 last year after a worrisome spike in cases of colorectal cancer in people younger than 50. They then talk about all of the non-invasive tests that can be used for colon cancer and the invasive tests, many of which we have heard about before, including colonoscopies. So there you go then, a major mainstream outlet discussing the best ways to prevent colon cancer and saying that the best ways are regular checkups and screening. Now I'm not arguing against screening for colon cancer. Screening is very important for lots of cancers and everybody should have that discussion with their physician. The pros and cons of screening at any given age, unique risk factors, many things which are not in anyone's control like genetics, family history. But when we're talking about colon cancer, let's get real here. Rates are going up dramatically in many Western countries and we're seeing people diagnosed younger and younger. And it is very obvious that lifestyle is playing a big role. And I was highly annoyed that this CNN article didn't even make one mention about lifestyle factors which are all in our complete control. How could they not do that? But it is really not a surprise. We know from research some of the biggest risk factors for developing colon cancer, like being overweight or obese, like lack of exercise, other lifestyle habits like smoking, and of course, the big one, the elephant in the room, diet. A diet high in ultra-processed foods and sugars, aka the American diet, also crucially low in fiber. How on earth could you not mention that in an article which potentially is going out to millions of people? I don't get it, but actually I do get it because it is typical of the attitude, the medical philosophy of the establishment. It's all about testing, 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 investigations, investigations, making money, money, money. But of course, the real prevention, those pearls of wisdom, let's put them on the back burner as if they're not totally in our control. And of course, you put out real good advice there will be a percentage of people who do listen to it. So another miss from a major mainstream news outlet. So when it comes to colon cancer, yes, you can certainly be screened, you can have regular checkups, but to completely neglect telling people about all of the lifestyle factors which are involved is really not just bad medicine and healthcare, it also borders on negligence. Because we know from statistics and data, when we look at the world, countries which aren't seeing rapid spikes in colon cancer rates, especially in younger people, they have very different lifestyles from countries like the United States. And of course, there is never any guarantee. Cancer is a terrible disease. However, each one of us can take small steps to try to lower our risk. So that's all I've got to say about that. Not a surprise, establishment wants testing, 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 and they completely neglect to tell you about all of the natural lifestyle things that you should be doing as well. 
Dr. Sunil Dan, thanks for listening. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do hit the subscribe button for more similar videos in the future. Also hit the bell button so you get notified when I make more videos. Remember these things. Modern mainstream culture will make you very sick very fast. Two of the best things you can do for your health are to cut out ultra-processed foods and sugars. Sadly, a lot of healthcare and medicine has become very corrupt indeed. And fewer things are to be more cherished than our freedom. Also come follow me on my uncensored platform, Locals.com. That link is down below where we have more open, interesting discussions about health, about well-being, about the corruption in medicine, about the pandemic response. And we do so away from this environment of big tech, censorship and silencing. An absolute disgrace, I need to say that in the United States, but I do. We will talk again very soon.